to lower the bridge to access the walkway. I'll bring the lift down when you make it.
he's going to lead the fight with me. Listen, there's not a single day goes by where I don't wish I was you. Even with all that God knows what hardware, wetware, Seth mutation bullshit going on under that skin of yours, I take it. Come on. Cell had me locked down here for months. Never knew how far they were taking this shit. Just a matter of time before they put me into one of these things. Because that's what the Nana suit is, right? A Seth exoskeleton. I'm gonna make you fucking pay! You bastards! Where the fuck are you? Psycho. If I could find the cell bastard who did this, I'd fucking kill him. Locked. 
Have a seat, mate. We have to be sure about this. Unlocking the suit means breaking the safety seals, rerouting the nanites. If he's infused with Ceph technology now, there's no telling what he'll become. You can handle this, my boss. Do it. I'm accessing the memory retrieval systems. Filtering. There was always a risk. We triggered a fundamental change in your nature. In your nature. But to defeat an enemy of such unrelenting technological ferocity, we'd have to become vulnerable. We placed blockers on your dopamine receptors. Blockers. Your mind. Dopamine blockers are cleared. I'm registering critical neurological changes. We should be able to make a clear link with the Ceph now. What's this? Michael, you shouldn't. Don't. Why not? It won't help. Operation? The nanosuit is then fully removed. Subject 8A, Sergeant Michael Seitz, is... Uh, He's still functioning at near optimal levels, but accelerated degradation is to be expected. You, you did this to me. Michael, please listen to me. You are the reason why. I, I mean, I fight Cell because of you. Because. Is that why you cared? Or were you pretending to care because of this? Because of your own fucking guilt. I didn't have a choice, Michael! The cell program, we were in debt, you know how this works. I was forced to do this. To all of those people. I had to listen to their screams day after day after day. I know what I did. Jesus, believe me, I know. And I'll have to carry that with me as long as I live. Every day of my life. Michael! And feeling bad about it makes it all right, does it? If you're so fucking sorry, Claire, how come I had to find out like this? Why didn't you just come clean, you lying Michael, fuck? Michael, listen to me. You know how it works. You know she didn't have a choice. She did what she had to do. No choice. Just doing what she's told. Just following orders. Who the fuck does that sound like, Prophet? I'll tell you one thing, though. She was right about you. You might as well be a fucking machine because you sure as hell ain't no human being anymore. I mean, you never were much good at it to begin with, but Jesus Christ, look at you now! Whose face are you wearing under that helmet these days, Prophet? Do you even have a face anymore? We all had to make sacrifices. You had a choice, mate. Everyone has a choice. Look, I told you. Everything you needed to know. Remember these. All the men who died under your command because you were just following orders. Because you had no choice. Just like her. Psycho. No, mate. You take that suit of yours. And you go fight your own battles. Like all. Mike, wait. No, Claire. He's right. Let him go. Oh, God. We just got intel on Red Star Rising. Listen carefully. Archangel is a key regulator platform in Cell's new wireless energy grid. But that's not all it does. 
The system's massive power store can be discharged via a broad area directed energy weapon, meaning assured destruction of hostile elements and metropolitan area depopulation events. Protocols exist for Archangel to be retasked for a number of alternate outcomes. When that outcome is the threat of Ceph Stage 3, Archangel begins the most aggressive protocol set available, Red Star Rising. Oh, God. They're gonna obliterate New York. Total. Orbital. Annihilation.